Happy New Year. If you are flying in 2024, these travel updates will have a huge impact on making your airplane and airport experience better. The newest updates for American Airlines, Delta Airlines, and United Airlines are that they are flying to new cities. In 2024, American Airlines will start flying to Copenhagen, Denmark, Nice, France, and Naples, Italy. Delta will fly to more domestic cities in the summer of 2024, including Detroit to Anchorage, which I thought was interesting. And then one from United Airlines is that they're going to now start flying flying to Faro, Portugal, which is a coastal town. I don't know how you pronounce it. More and more areas in our beautiful world are opening up for us. In January of 2024, the Las Vegas Harry Reid International Airport will now open the self-scanning little pods in the TSA line where you get to scan your own self and your own bags by yourself in your individual pods. They're going to have four systems or pods set up. They're going to have doors that let you enter into that. It's open air. And then you will have your screening done by yourself, the machine that's in there, and your baggage screened. And then the doors will open once you and your bags have passed the test. If you do something wrong, like you leave a half empty water bottle in your backpack and the machine notifies you, you can then fix it. You do not have to wait on a TSA officer to come and inspect that bag and put you through the whole process again. The goal for passengers in 2024 is to make your airport experience through airport security streamlined, quicker, but still being safe and keeping crew member and airport staff safe as well. The Las Vegas airport is the only place this new system will be in, in place, <laughs> but I would like to think of it as a self-scanning aisle of your grocery store. You are in charge of doing everything, but notice there are two potential problems with that. One, you're relying on machines to do all of the work. And then two, you're relying on people <laughs> to follow the rules, which is what we are supposed to be doing in the regular airport security lanes, which means we will probably need extra staff when a machine breaks or when one of us doesn't understand what to do next, for example. However, when other airports can afford this new technology, people will get faster and faster and it will become more streamlined. Another travel update that I have noticed on my recent trip to Belgium, which you may have noticed as well domestically, the area for your personal item bag under your airplane seat seems to be getting smaller because of two reasons. One, all of the technology updates in airplanes needed for flights these days, and then also for a footrest that I had under my airplane seat, my gray backpack barely fit. I had my prescription shampoo in the outer pocket, so the bar went against it, so it leaked a little bit, but I did have it in a sandwich bag. But that footrest bar dipped down under the airplane seat. So we just have to be prepared. I have a new backpack. It's by Nomad Lane and I have only flown with this to Knoxville, Tennessee. It is streamlined, but I'm still practicing on how I can pack more efficiently in it and get away with carrying a smaller personal item bag especially if your airline uh, going to Australia, flying on international airplanes, they are restricting the size to an obnoxious, impossible, small size. I really think they're trying to get us to check our bags more often, but even for the personal item bags, they have to be really small. My husband got this brand new one, and I've covered up part of it because he helps with something with his airline, but it is also streamlined like mine, and you can find that one on Amazon. It is fantastic. You'll see the inner uh, fabric looks burgundy. It's really like a dark brick burgundy color, like a reddish garnet color. That's more masculine if you want that. The fabric is the same as this Nomad Lane. It's a very luxurious fabric on the outside, high quality zippers, but it's streamlined. And one travel hack that I thought of coming back from Belgium is if you look at 
passengers who are wearing a black backpack or a black tote bag, it looks smaller. So I think you could get away with it with some airlines if it's black. But the thing I like about this and the other bag is that they have the lighter interior. One thing I did in December, I bought like eight of my favorite backpacks. The Love Book brand, it's on Amazon, but I bought eight different ones and I only liked three of them. I returned them all because I do not need another backpack right now. <laughs> That's just to show you that in 2024, if you are looking for luggage or for personal item bags in a different size, find a place that has free returns. If you do not like it, it's not even worth $1. And then return it. My, I have a video on the best carry-on luggage because I went into stores. I bought the items, I'm returning the items so that I can test it, so that you can test it and really see if the wheels are sturdy and if you can pack in certain features. I talk about that in my video. Let us know if you have been able to not use your ID in Delta's flights for Detroit, Atlanta, LaGuardia, and JFK. If you have used their app and you have pre-check, pre just like the other program in Las Vegas, if you have those, you do not have to show your ID with that app. Um, but because all of us fly different airlines and we'll maybe never fly through Atlanta or never fly through Las Vegas. I just wanted to touch on these updates. There's also an app that you can use with American Airlines where you download all of your information, your picture, and then with that app, it pulls up your picture. So you do not have to fumble around looking for your ID like these other systems. And that way you get through airport security faster. Now with every update, with in any company, but now with travel updates, your first time or your second time, you might feel uncomfortable. Change is not good, but it's always constant, especially in the travel industry. So you are just going to be patient with you. And here's an important travel tip that you can do to help in 2024 still. That is to arrive to the airport, be inside the airport two hours before your plane boards. That means they make you get in line 30 to 45 minutes now before the domestic flight takeoff. So you will look at your ticket on that time, subtract 30 minutes or 45 minutes, and you need to be in the airport two hours before that time. It's just gonna help you be less stressed because you stressed less. As a pilot's wife, I have been flying with carry-on luggage and through airport security for over 20 years, so take these tips from me. One great travel update is for the Shenzhen or Schengen uh, visa for traveling to Europe in 2024. It has been delayed, just like our Gold Star identification driver's license thing here in America for another year until 2025, so that's good news. Europe travel was much faster for me. I have not been there in five years, but I've been to Belgium now this last year. But Belgium, the streamlined process made us keep moving. I ran into two viewers, hi, in the Belgium airport. Can you believe that? The airport security in Belgium was fast and it kept us moving. I did do something that I have not had to do in America. And that is I switched to my smaller, um, my smaller liquids bag because their liquids bag contents are smaller than our Ziploc brand quart size bags. So I did not want to get pulled out of line. Um, let us know if you've had any problems with liquids in other countries, but I have a whole video coming out in a week um, about the Europe one I packed for Europe that was I can't wait to share those ideas with you. Let us know if you have global entry. Global entry and TSA pre-check cannot be used in other countries. Those are only United States of America things, okay, that we pay for. So if you cannot afford global entry, then just get pre-check. My travel tip for 2024 is if you do not fly internationally more than two times a year, it's not really worth it to have global entry. There is a free app that you can have, which is Mobile Passport Control, and that will help you have all of your documents on the app. 
And then when you land at that airport or come in from a cruise ship, that will be in that app and it will streamline your process as well. When we got back from Belgium, our flight was delayed. So no other flights were there in the Washington Dulles airport customs. So we had no wait time. So I didn't get to try out the app when I landed there. I wanted to give you an update about wearing your mask in the airplane and in airports. Woo. When we were in Belgium, the Christmas markets, we were about this close to every single person every night walking through the crowds. And there are maybe a third of the people who are wearing masks out in public, in the airport, as well as in the airplane. So you're not going to get shamed like many people thought you did a couple of years ago. It's just the norm to see some people wearing them and some people not. If you do want to wear a mask, my lady still makes them for you. And I will put her information in the first comment for you. They do not fog up my reading glasses. That's why I used hers a few years ago. This next update is about delayed flights or canceled flights. And just as we found out over the last few years, you kind of have to be your own medical advocate. Now you have to be your travel advocate. What I have found out is that airlines have a customer service page. So the major airlines, they will have that customer service page that promises what they will do if you have a significant delay or a cancellation. My travel tip to you is to find your airline when you book your ticket and take screenshots of what they promise. The vague wording is where it, we're going to have a hiccup and have some help for that. The vague terminology on that airline's website is a significant delay. What is significant? I know on uh, two of them, it said like over three hours, but they discuss what they will do for meal vouchers, for hotel vouchers, for transportation. If your flight is canceled overnight or if it is significantly delayed. One tip to not ruin the entire awful experience for you as passengers is pay attention to their wording with reasonable accommodations because even pilots do it. If their hotel is not ready or something like that, then um, you may want to get a night stay at the Four Seasons. Well, an airline is not going to pay you for a night in a hotel at the Four Seasons because that's not reasonable accommodations. So save yourself the stress and don't try to trick the system. The most helpful tip is that even though they have these pages on their website, if it is an uncontrollable circumstance like weather, which is most of the reason why flights are like this, then it is always up to you. The airline is exempt from having to pay a meal, transportation, accommodations for you. So just know that ahead of time, but by taking the screenshots of what their website says that I think that will help you know before you go and know or have it in your back pocket in your phone if that problem occurs. The United States Department of Transportation is holding airlines responsible for what they promise. So what can you as a passenger do in 2024? Take screenshots of what has happened or the updates that have come across your airline app. And an important one is to write down the flight number or in the notes section of your phone, for example, so that you can and they will know the flight that it happened with. We just had a record number beat 2019's traveler numbers who went through airport security over Thanksgiving. So there are more passengers out there now, which means they need more airplanes and more pilots <laughs> and they are getting better. All of the major airlines are getting the new Airbuses, the new Boeings. And there are two things about that. One is because there's such demand for travel, just like in 2023, if an airplane breaks or five airplanes break throughout the 5,000 airports in the United States, they may not have five airplanes who can substitute that day. So your flight might get canceled until the next day. It's just a recipe for delays. My tip is to go first thing in the morning so that you may have other flights later that day if one cancels or is 
the plane is broken, airlines are hiring with stiff competition. More pilots every day, every week, so that'll be good. The second thing about the new airplanes is, like I told you last year, but now we're really seeing an influx of brand new airplanes, but also reconfigured airplanes. That means the overhead bins are now bigger for all of our carry-on suitcases. And this is how they have to stand up in the airplane. You put it into the overhead bin like that, not like that. That means that every passenger will have space or a slot for their carry-on suitcase. One tip to consider is that if an airplane has been reconfigured, not all of the time do the gate agents know that. So they think it's the old airplane size and they don't have the system because their booking system and all that stuff is so antiquated. They do not have the updates that that airplane has been reconfigured and now does have more space for passengers. So that leads me to my other travel tips for my other videos. And that is have your electronics and your medication that is essential in your personal item bag in case they have to check your bag last minute to the belly of the airplane. And then it could get lost. Or the problem with a technology is if it's a lithium battery, which our phone chargers, our um, power banks, those have lithium batteries in them, which can be combustible. So they do not allow them in the belly of the airplane. And then if they lose your bag, you need that medicine. So having it in your purse line and bag will help. Another update that in the fall of this last year, I've had all four airlines tell me to put my crossbody bag in my personal item bag. Only two bags, no more. So they are being strict. But then my flight to Dulles and my flight to Belgium where no one said anything. I was on United Airlines for that and I treated myself to a first class ticket both ways. They allowed everyone to take in their crossbody bag. But our update that I talked about in the fall is I leave space in the top of my backpack in case there's a strict gate agent that day. Many of you ha have heard that my brother got hired with Hawaiian Airlines at age 49 years old. Um, Hawaiian has now merged with Alaskan and it will look pretty seamless to you passengers because they are still going to be still going to be operating as two different airlines, even though they've merged. But we believe a judge is going to allow Spirit and JetBlue to merge. We'll see how that unveils in 2024. One travel tip or a travel challenge I want to give to you this year in January of 2024 is to organize between your trips. Right now, if you're not going anywhere for a few months, organize your items. I have a whole video that gives you ideas. Uh, one thing I do is with my compression cubes, since they come in a set of six and I have several sets, I just pack them empty inside the largest one and I zip it up. That helps a little bit, uh, but I've got some great tips and tricks for you in another video. If I asked you which airport you thought had the longest TSA lines and airport security, which airport would you say? And we all say Denver. <laughs> Those lines look so long and they are, they are wrapped around and then they go around the side corner. All right. But they have two options for you as passengers. I don't know if this is new to you, but I did notice like in the, in September that there were clear um, operators walking through the line saying, would you like to sign up for clear today? And that is a travel hack. Sign up for clear for three months. You and any kid under 17 or 18 get to go through that line. It's not worth it to me if you do not fly very often to pay for that every single year and pay for pre-check. But if you're going to that airport, do it. They want to speed up your wait time in the airport security. So here's what they do. Denver International Airport allows you now to reserve your spot in line. And if you look, you can see the little purple rectangle. Just research and just find out if it can serve you in 2024. It looks like it's a clear employee doing that, but it's separate, okay? And they do have three different airport security areas. So just 
research that on your own if you will be going through the Denver International Airport. But a lot of airports, because of the high demand for travel, they have the money. Um, they are making new and cool things to do inside your airport, as well as airports in different parts of the world. Let us know if you see, like throughout this year, just put it on another video in a comment saying, oh, guess what they had at this airport? I know Denver in 2019, they had ice skating um, and they have this whole outdoor area by the security line. Um, that's really cool as well. All right, thanks for your time. I hope you have great flights and on-time departures and smooth airport security experiences.